Here's how you can put two videos on one screen on CapCut on your Mac and PC so you can make edits that look something like this. So let's get started by creating a new project and importing the clips we want to use. And as you can see, we've got two clips here, two videos that we're going to use. One video is a talking head shot and the other video is a screen recording. So ultimately, I'm explaining something as I show it being done on my computer. It's actually me talking about how I make flashcards in medical school. So let's drag and drop this video, which is the screen recording to my timeline first. And I'll explain why I do this as opposed to the talking headshot later on. And then I'll drag the talking headshot. Now, as you can see, it's in landscape mode and say I want this for short form and I want it portrait. So I'll click ratio over here and I'll go nine by 16. So it's in the portrait mode. Now, these two recordings were done at the same time. So I want to sync these two clips. So what I'll do is I'll highlight both clips, right click and go sync video and audio and CapCut will magically sync the two clips. Now let's just trim off the excess at the start and end. And now let's move these videos. So let's say I want the talking head shot at the bottom. Let's say here, and I want this at the top. There we go. And say I want to increase the scale of this clip, so I'll just select it and increase the scale. Say I want it something like that. And say this clip, the screen recording, I want it something like that. And I want to show this window. Now, the reason why I put the talking head shot on top is because that it will always be on the top layer. So for example, if I make this bigger, it will go underneath my talking head shot. Command Z undo. All right, let's drag these two clips to the start of the timeline. And there we go. I explain things and it's split screen. Now, the other thing I like to do is first actually decrease the volume of this clip because it came from my camera directly and it's not as high quality as this audio which came from this microphone. But the other thing I was about to say was if I go text, auto captions, generate, it will auto generate captions and then I'll put these captions in between these two clips. So boom, I've noticed that adding captions increase retention which is why I do it. So if I go font, I'll usually go Montserrat black and I'll go usually nine and then all caps, I make it thinner usually and I'll do it by going like that because there's often buttons here like likes, comments, shares. So I don't want those buttons to obstruct the text. So I'll make it thinner and I'll drag it here in between the two clips so it looks more seamless. And then I'll just make sure it's on brand. So I'll use stroke, 40% thickness, shadow, and these are my shadow settings over here. And I'll just go through and make sure it looks all good. But that's pretty much how I make these split screen videos where there are two videos on one screen on CapCut on my Mac and PC. Thanks for watching. My name is Junius. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a medical student in New Zealand, but on the side, I'm passionate about educational content and I try my best to document whatever I learn on this YouTube channel and I've organized everything into playlists. Thanks for watching. If you want more CapCut editing tutorials specifically, check out this playlist right here and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.